I used to dream that I would discover the perfect lover someday. I knew I'd recognize him if ever he came round my way. I always used to fancy then he'd be one of those godlike kind of men with a giant brain and a noble head, like the heroes bold in the books I read. But along came Bill. Who's not the type at all? You'd meet him on the street and never notice him. His form and face, his manly grace, is not the kind that you would find in a statue. And I can't explain, it's surely not his brain that makes me thrill. I love him because he's, I don't know, because he's just my It began in school, a friendship reconnected through a tool, Facebook. So not eight years ago, but about 14 years ago when we were still at school, I was infatuated. Natalie was this gorgeous, dark-haired girl who was one of the prettiest people in the whole school, but didn't really know it, quite clearly. She was an incredible pianist and used to play in school assemblies. All the boys fancied her. Yes, Janice and Tommy, why do you think she had so many boy friends who were desperate to come round for tea? Of course, Natalie was oblivious to the whole thing. As far as she was concerned, she just had lots of nice friends who were boys. Unfortunately for me, I was one of them. Natalie and I first started talking on MSN Messenger. Anyone remember that? Hey. MSN was amazing, right? You'd get home from school, and as long as your mum didn't want to use the phone, you'd spend all evening talking to the people you'd just been at school with the whole day. Or in my case, the girls you fancy that you're too scared to talk to in person. <laughs> so I spent a little while wooing Natalie with the old, hey, how are you? <laughs> I'm fine, thanks. You? What are you up to? <laughs> All the moves. <laughs> we eventually met up a few times outside school and I ended up inviting her to my parents' 25th wedding anniversary, where after a lot of cajoling from my brothers, and from Gemma as well, thanks guys. I told Natalie how I felt about her, and we lived happily ever after. No, actually, Natalie had a boyfriend that she, that she hadn't told me about. I was devastated, and while I don't exactly remember the ins and outs of it, we didn't speak to each other again for five or six years. So fast forward to our 20s, and through the wonder of Facebook this time, we reconnect. We decided to meet up again, and the rest is history. It was love at first sight, or second sight. I never really stopped fancying her, and if my 20-year-old self had been able to tell 15-year-old me I'd only have to wait five years for the girl of my dreams, I think I'd have been pretty happy with that. So here we are 14 years after I typed those first tentative letters on my keyboard, and I still think she's as beautiful and talented as I did when I saw her playing piano in assembly. I saw my friends start this journey, and I get bored with watching them kiss. Passion strengthened through mutual love of melody, these two lovers had their own soundtrack, how good it is to look back. I share this love facilitator, especially with today's celebration. They decided to build their castle together and fought many days of bad weather. The love and generosity that grew helped others around you. So when they gave me a room, supporting my dreams and my game plan, I respected this couple's warmth <clears throat> and obliged by being their milkman. He used to drink milk. <laughs> Living with them showed me how they problem solve, fight battles, and survive together. It showed me how much they love each other and would they break? Never. So then as proud Londoners, it was time for the next step. They planned to get hitched, tie the knot, seal this strong bond by being husband and wife, wed. They gave me the job of best man. Trusted, they said. Off on the stag do we went. Never a better time spent. Look after my husband to be, Natalie said. I took on the responsibility like a champ. Lost Jack for 40 minutes, only to find him outside the club playing guitar with a tramp. <laughs> But here we are, you've made it. It's nice to look back on your journey, but now for the next bit. Your love for each other is for all of us to admire. Here's to your happiness, your future, and the commitment you inspire. It's hard to rhyme your surname in a poem, especially when you've had a drink and you're not Leonard Cohen. So I say congratulations to my best friends. May you continue to support each other in times of health and when you are sick. Ladies and gentlemen, please raise your glasses to Mr. and Mrs. McCormick. I think love is when two people are better together than they are apart. When being without the other one makes you feel like you're missing a limb. When I started working with people, helping people, 
I began to realise that life is so precious and short, days just pass us by. You make me a better, more complete person. I'm the best version of myself when I'm with you. It's made me realise that family, health, and most importantly, to have love is all that matters in the world. When I look into your eyes, I see the kindest, funniest, most beautiful person in the world. You are my truest and closest friend. You know every thought in my mind, usually before I know it's there myself. Natalie, you are everything I could ever ask for one more. I knew from the day that I met you I wanted to marry you. And while it took a few years to convince you to feel the same, I know I would have waited for you my whole life. I knew on that first day when we re-met, when we were 20, it was in that moment when you played your guitar and sang to me and taught me the chords for your beautiful by James Bunt that I wholly loved you with all of my heart. I promise to pick you up when you're down, to make you laugh when it seems impossible, and to share the weight of the world when it all seems too much to handle alone. I promise to always love you no matter what happens. I promise to always encourage your spontaneity and to never let life get too serious. I promise to love you with all my heart, to support you with everything I have, and to wake up every morning as the best husband I can possibly be. I promise never to go to sleep without giving you a kiss goodnight, except when I'm on a night shift. <laughs> Natalie, I love you more than I can put down in words. You are my everything, and I'm forever yours. Jack, I'm wholly devoted to you in every way, with heart, body and soul. I'm yours. Oh, Natalie, 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 no longer just wife to be. I promise I'll always be there by your side. I promise that I'll never make you cry I promise I'll love you till the end of time Oh no